you know, they're not, I mean, I can get some cleavage too, which is nice. Hey, Banana Bays, welcome to another video on my channel. So I'm just adjusting the girls a bit here because I don't want the nip to slip, you know what I mean? Because this top is a little bit revealing, but I'm wearing this top so I can show you as much of my boob as, as I can because this is a boob talk um, without crossing the lines, the YouTube lines. So unfortunately we can't um, slip the nip at this point on YouTube, but maybe it'll happen in the future. I don't know, maybe it'll happen. So this is the top I'm going with today. I'll be wanting to talk about the titties, the girls, for a long time for a long time, but I've had a lot of conflicting thoughts because promoting veganism is so, so important to me. Getting people to stop eating animals, stop exploiting animals, stop hurting animals is really, really important to me. So I had these conflicting thoughts. I'm like, is this good for veganism? Are people going to think I'm a bad person if I have a boob job? Are they going to think it's bad, you know, for veganism, blah, blah, blah. All of these like thoughts just colliding in my mind. But now I just feel like, oh, you know, I've always had this burning kind of desire to talk about it because I'm not ashamed of it. You know, and there's no reason to be ashamed of getting a boob job. But there is this element in society, which is kind of, you know, people are made to feel a bit shamed about getting, you know, modifications to the body and stuff like that. So I want to talk about that today and give you my experience and hopefully that can help you. If you're considering a boob job, you know, you can kind of live through me, live through my experience and see whether it's, you know, what you should do or, you know, what you want to do. So the titties, time for some titty talk. I want you to know that this video is not uh, like boob job promotion video okay i'm not saying to you girls i'm not saying to you girls you should go and get your boobs done i'm absolutely not saying that so please don't think that i don't want you to make modifications to your body unless you you've been thinking about it for years and years and years and you feel like it's like the only you're like your last resort and you think it's going to just help you be a more complete person i got these titties i got the boobs done um God, so when I was 21, I'm 36 now, so it's like 15 years ago. And I had been wanting them for a long time. It was like my 21st present to myself. When I got them, I was like, yeah. It was honestly, it was the best thing that I, I did at the time in my life. It was really, really helpful to my self-esteem. So a little bit of backstory, you know, I grew up and I noticed that the girls around me when I was younger, I noticed that they were getting boobs. I was still very flat chested. Nothing was going on. I didn't feel feminine at all. I didn't feel, you know, that is a feeling that you can feel no matter how shapely or curvy you are for sure. And that's not what I'm saying, but this is how I was feeling as a young girl. Okay. I was feeling this as a young girl. I was feeling inadequate and I wanted to do something about it. That is a big part of it. But I also, also have a chest wall deformity. I don't know if you can see there's like a bone here. This is my sternum. Okay, so my sternum comes out to a point like this. So the combination of being flat chested plus the sternum coming to a point made it kind of really uncomfortable and awkward to wear a lot of clothing and bras and stuff like that. I didn't even need a bra, but like it would, it would stand out. It would stand out from my chest. There would be a big gap underneath, if that makes sense. And nothing sat right, you know, dresses and swimmers did not sit right. I used to actually sew a lot of padding into my swimmers. I became a bit of an expert at that at a very young age, sewing padding in and having that padding kind of help things all sit properly. But before that, things were just not sitting right and I felt very inadequate. So that is the reason. And some people are like, no, you didn't have chest wall deformity. Yes, I do. And it's actually on the surgeon's papers that I do have that. So you can just think whatever the fuck you want. But I know my own life. I know my own chest. All right, so arguing with that is kind of pointless on your behalf. So anyway, the tits. And what can I tell you about them? It was a C plus, size is C plus. And I think it's a good size. You know, it's in proportion with my body. I've had absolutely no problems, no problems with them in 15 years. Have not had them replaced. I've done research on, you know, whether they should be replaced or not. And, you know, people say that you can have them for the rest of your life without replacing them. Whether that's true or not, is it's an individual thing. You know, it depends on your experience, whether, I don't know, you're rough with them or whatever. So that's just something you have to research um, by yourself. And also you have to go to a good surgeon. So I went to a surgeon in Double Bay in Sydney. He was the best. Oh, he's still in practice, I think. He is the best in Australia, Dr. Hodgkinson. Cost 
at the time it was like ten and a half thousand or something. This is 15 years ago. So this guy was the best. I wasn't having anyone except the best because I'm like, hey, you're making like a modification to my body. I want to, you know, see all the results here. I want the best, the person who isn't going to fuck up my body, obviously. And he is really, really amazing. So he got, yeah. And he was, he was kind of, he's quite fascinating fascinated by my chest wall about how kind of fucking how weird it is it was like a one hour surgery or something like that and the recovery was like a month or so of you know I couldn't drive because you're using those the chest to pec muscles it's like half underneath the muscle and half on top so there's like a smooth flow down to the boobs they look really good they look like young girls boobs it's quite amazing I mean like 17 year old boobs or something <laughs> having them like kind of pushed like this in this top can make them look a little bit kind of rounder but they're actually quite like teardrop that's the shape that I got and I can get some cleavage too which is nice <laughs> and they're not um like too big for my body okay I never want I never wanted to be like Dolly Parton or anything like that I wanted to feel normal but yeah, I couldn't do a lot in the first month. Couldn't drive, couldn't like, you know, sweep and stuff like that. I had to be elevated on a bed with pillow behind me. And the drugs, I initially had a few drugs, but then I went off them pretty quickly. And that wasn't a problem. That wasn't actually a problem at all. I didn't have a heck of a lot of pain. Um, I got incision underneath, underneath the boob. So the boob overhang just, you know, sags over, over the what am I trying to say? Like, yeah, the sag over the scar, so you can't see that. There's still a little bit of a scar, but it's hardly anything. Um, you can get them, I believe, like underneath the armpits as well. There's other areas that you can you can do that. Um, what else? I mean, for my self-esteem, I have to say it is really it's been amazing, and I wouldn't go back from that. Like, it really has helped me. There's people who are like. You know, if you get a boob job, it's not going to help with the way you feel. You know, you're, gonna, you're still the same person. And that's true to some degree. But for me, it was such a, I feel like an extreme case that I am happier with this modification than I was being the person that I was born to be. You know, that's just how I feel. And at the end of the day, that is more important than anything as far as I'm concerned. And people can tell you that you're wrong and all of that. But you know within you, only you know how you feel. And it only matters how you feel in yourself, not how other people feel about you. So just remember that. And if you're, you're, um, you're considering getting your boobs done, then definitely do the research and go and get it done by the best person. Okay. And just really think about it. Don't just like treat it as sort of like, oh yeah, just go and get my boobs done. I mean, like it still is a big deal, okay? You still are being opened up on the operating table. There's still risk of infection and all that sort of stuff. So don't take it lightly. Um, I would always say to improve how you feel about yourself first before thinking about that sort of modification. Just really, really please think about it because you are perfect the way you are, okay? You are, the way you were born is the way that you should be embracing. I agree with that. And that might sound contradictory to what I've been saying, but for me personally, this has been the right choice to do. And it has been positive. I haven't had any negative, you know, occurrences before, ne negative reactions or, you know, any, anything that would make me regret this decision. So I just wanted to like clarify that because I don't want you girls to think, oh, you have to go and change yourself to be happy. And no, you don't. No, you don't. All right, guys, that is my video for today. It feels so liberating to actually like share these details with you guys. I hope it helps. I hope it helps in some way and definitely leave some questions below and um, I'll be back for tomorrow's video. All right. Love you guys and I'll see you soon.